go to a festival. I just did some um, cafe work experience stuff. So like getting my hair on like barista ring and like cleaning tables and stuff. And now I'm going to get dressed. I really wear jeans with this outfit, but I think it's too hot for them. I don't really like it anyway, so I'm just going to wear socks. It's going Cinderella meets red and socks. And friend mom was like, Cinderella, is that you? It's like, heck yeah it is. How did you know? I can't find another hat that fits. So I'm wearing this big boy. I want me getting the biggest side eye for looking gorgeous. Basically, this, we went to um, a little supermarket in my suburb and I came out and first of all these people like laughed in the car but I think they were laughing at us, so it was fine. But they were looking at us, so we were like, it was me and my mom. And then um, I was walking past this lady and she gave me like the biggest side eye and she like, looked at my outfit and I was like, I know I look rich, but you don't have to make it so obvious. Like, she really didn't have to judge me for making cheap clothes look good. So, the festival I went to um, was a buskers festival, which is basically a bunch of buskers get invited from where to, wherever, and they just, like, pep it around the city, do anything. They're all so annoying. They're all, like, because obviously like, most of them are, like, con men and stuff. Um, Just asking for money. Like, they go to what they do, but it's just, like... It's like, oh, you know, I don't have any money. It's like, they literally paid you to be here, but okay. I think, I don't know. Um, and then, you know, they do, like, mistakes on purpose so that people feel bad for them and give them money, which is just kind of silly. And then, um, yeah, there was only, like, one person who I really enjoyed their performance because this guy with, like, the things on the strings or whatever, like a circus, but they were all circus people. I was expecting, like, folk music and stuff, so I was a little bit like, ah, oh, I don't know if I like this, so... I don't know, we saw, we saw a few. It was okay. It wasn't my taste. There was one that looked like from an initiation to like the Illuminati or fraternity. Like the whole like, what's it, embarrassment initiation that they have to do. It's like, that's what it looked like. It was, and apparently it was a dance group from Germany. So I don't even know what that was all about. We didn't stick around because it looked fishy. <laughs> I just, oh gosh. <laughs> I just watched the, oh my god. <laughs> It's almost 12.30 in the morning. I'm trying not to wake anyone up. But I just watched uh, the last episode of The Bear Season 2. I don't- I can't even like- like order my thoughts. <laughs> it's like- <laughs> There's so many characters! And I feel so many things for them at once! It's like- like, some of them are like, I'm really happy for them, and then others are like, oh my gosh, like, you gonna be okay? I don't know. I think they stopped filming season two in February. Does that not be good? <sighs> not even, like, crying fully, I'm just kind of laughing and, like, just kind of pulled tears out of my tear ducts, so. My tear ducts? Ducts? That was like the worst experience of my life. I hated that and I want to watch it all over again. And then Flippin' Only Murders in the Building just showed up afterwards and I was like, what the heck? How is this a comedy? Today has been like productive, not the way it usually is. I haven't written anything or anything. Um, tomorrow I might do more barista stuff. I haven't heard anything yet. He should be back here tomorrow. Um, but I'm going to go see a movie with a friend of mine. Um, so I should have some time to myself to like write and, and do all the fun stuff. I actually found that a lot of the stuff that I started doing around this time last year, like once like I'm sick but also or something, that video I made, the stuff I picked up doing there has like carried through rather consistently. New year. New old me. The, the new me that was last year that's now old me but new me. It, she's back. <laughs> I just filmed the challenge outfit thing. So um, now I'll just edit it, post it, and then we'll see what happens. I don't think I'm going to be doing cafe stuff today because he isn't texting me so I have a free morning.
I finished cleaning my room, and for the first time in probably a year, I think I'm going to clean my desk. So, I cleaned my desk, and I've started editing a film that I have, like, half filmed. I like to edit while I film, because it makes me feel accomplished. Um, it is almost one o'clock, which means i got to start getting ready. Like, I want to be ready so that I can chill, and then just leave no drama. So, yeah. Also, haven't eaten today, and I'm still reeling from the bear. This has been all over the place. I saw the movie, which was Migration, which was... It was, it was good for a kid's movie. Like, it wasn't bad. Um, and tomorrow I'm going to be doing more cafe experience. I'll go to the library tomorrow as well. And I'd like to go buy some stickers to decorate my laptop. I've never decorated a laptop before, but I have a, a laptop now for uni. Because I can't use my Chromebook, because Chromebooks don't come with Microsoft and stuff. So, yeah, I needed one. And here it is, in, in all its glory. I got Sour Patch Kids. Living my life. So, um, I just did some more cafe stuff this morning. Uh, and then I went on the train to the mall, I bought some stickers and um, just to like decorate my laptop. I think I already said that, but yeah, because we've done it before. Exciting. I just grabbed myself a Sunday and then I went back on the train and I just got a book from the guy who wrote um, All the Light We Cannot See, which has a TV show out yeah, now, which I've yet to watch, but I've read some of the books, so that's exciting. Now I'm going to go home and I write. I read. I'm gonna do more cafe stuff in a couple days. I'm seeing a friend tomorrow. I'm gonna to go to brunch, like old ladies, and it's gonna be good. My phone died again. Um, this is the laptop. Um, I've actually just done like you know washing dishes. I folded some clothes. It's kind of, it's kind of hanging out. I've been I've been pretty productive today. I'm living a, I'm li I'm living a good life. What time is it right now? It's almost one o'clock. Look at me. Look at how awake I am. I'm seeing a friend at ten o'clock tomorrow. She's gonna come to my house and then we're gonna walk um to the little store place. Um, and we'll have brunch like old ladies. I think I already said this. And we'll just hang. Um, I don't know. I'm like it's annoying because I'm feeling creative, but I'm kind of in a rut. With like stuff, but actually, no, that's what I was gonna do. I sent out my screenplay to some of my friends, and um, my cousin just came back with some like feedback and stuff, so I'm gonna like use the feedback. I am officially in less of a rut with my one of my screenplays, my other one, not the one I was working on. Yeah, so I, I applied some of the feedback. It's a little hard because. Books are very different to screenplays, and a lot of people are more used to reading books than they are used to reading screenplays. So when I write a screenplay, I try not to put a lot of description in there, um, not just for like the setting, because like I know what the scenes will look like, and I want to direct the stuff that I write, so I don't really need anybody else to know that. Um, but also for like the actors, like I remember I had a friend who was like, "Oh, I don't really, I can't like picture their faces." It's like, but that's not your job, like. Not, I'm not being mean or anything, but like it's just you know it's a different it's a different realm. You can't you know if I put in facial expressions, it's basically me trying to like bind the performances of the actors to just one thing. And the wonderful thing about acting is that you can try so many different ways of doing a scene with so many different facial expressions and so many different like inflections on different words and things and have a great performance every single time. So I think it's helpful that I'm on both sides of it, because I can kind of, you know, I can read a script in an audition, and I can figure out, well, what do I like about this script? What do I not like about this script? How can I apply that to my scripts and screenplays and things? So, yeah, but the feedback's really helpful. Because, um, you know, if it's all about, like, lack of description, or whatever, then I can, I know that my story must be good, because there's no thing about that, but there's one thing that was like, you know, um, working on the beats of the scene a bit more, so like that's like really helpful stuff, 
But um, it's kind of comforting to know that like people's biggest concern, or like you know, from from an outside of audience perspective, the biggest concern is like the fact that they can't like picture the furniture in the room or something like that is that's good. That's like good to hear. That's um exciting. And I hope I haven't misinterpreted uh the feedback and stuff. But yeah, I greatly appreciate it. So if you want to go read my screenplay, DM me. I actually need to update my Instagram link, so I'll probably do that tomorrow if I remember. Uh, night or morning, I guess. Bye.